So the first race of the Diria E Prix, well, the first Diria E Prix of the season, and uh, well, how do we talk about it? It was a swap of the top two from last time out in Mexico City, Jake Dennis second and Pascal Verlion first. But for a long time, it was the Jaguar powertrains that were performing quite well. Sebastian Buemi had pole. But quite impressively, Sam Bird finished third after leading a good portion of the race. Fastest lap went to Ray Rast in fifth for McLaren. Then it was Cassidy, Verne, Hughes, Lotterer and Evans rounding out the top ten. A non-start for Max Gunter. It's a horrible one for Maserati with uh, Motaro also not finishing. Same for Nico Muller. A lap down, Ollie Rowland and Antonio Phoenix to Costa. De Costa in the wall at the start of the race. I think, wasn't that what um, Mitch Evans got the five second penalty for that dropped him from eighth to tenth? And then Roland hit in the wall, taking the attack mode. Tickton would qualified quite impressively in fourth place. Ended up finishing 14th. I think he just seemed to struggle. A lot of the action for this race was focused up at the front. Especially on the TV package. And again, it's another Formula E race I haven't been watching live, so it might be that that's what's making it a bit more uninspiring for me, but it does feel a bit more uninspiring this season. I don't know if it is the Gen 3s, but to be honest, I mean, I wasn't too much of a fan of Diri or the Gen 2s, it just was chaotic, right? I think because Mexico City is the one that was a bit of a surprise for me, but then it's the first race of a new era. So what I'm looking forward to is the next rounds of the championship, not necessarily this one that's coming up, because, well, that could go any kind of way. It's nice to see that we've got this early emerging title battle. It'd be cool if we had it like Formula E where it could really be anybody. We got what Hyderabad for round four. Came down for round five, so it's only really going to get to Berlin that we'll properly have a Gen two, Gen three comparison, um, in my opinion. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.